We're learning more about the last night's cross country rampage, cross county rampage. A man accused of shooting his boss, murdering a woman in front of her child, and then barricading himself in a house for seven hours. Investigators are looking at three different crime scenes. The first at Yucatan Drive off Lake Underhill, where the woman was killed. The next on Second Street near Lake Fairview, where the boss was shot. And the last just around the corner from there, Annandale Avenue, where the standoff went on into the night. News 6 reporter Troy Campbell is live tonight from the sheriff's office with that new information about the suspected shooter and Troy, the woman who was killed. Well, Eric, we are choosing to not release the woman's name. That's because investigators here at the Orange County Sheriff's Office, they're still in the process of notifying her family. However, we did speak to her ex-husband, who tells us that she does have a history of violence with her now accused killer. Six, uncovering the 45 year old mother of three killed in the front yard of this home on Yucatan Drive Friday evening had filed a repeat violence motion against 50 year old Manuel Feliciano. The Orange County Sheriff's Office says Feliciano killed the woman in front of her children, her seven year old daughter calling 911. The victim and Feliciano believed to be romantically involved. The victim's former husband says she moved to the United States from Peru in the mid 1990s. Her ex says in April, she claimed Feliciano had smashed out her car windows. On Wednesday, she dropped her two youngest children off at his house so she could attend a court hearing. But her former husband says he didn't ask what the hearing was for. Investigators say Feliciano went on a shooting spree yesterday, first gunning down the 45-year-old mother and then driving to his former boss's house, shooting him. However, he's expected to survive. Feliciano then retreated into his home on Annandale Street, firing at deputies several times. No officers were injured, and Feliciano was taken into custody after several hours. Again, we are choosing not to release the victim's name because investigators here at the Orange County Sheriff's Office, they are still attempting to contact her family in Peru, which is where her 15-year-old son lives. Her former husband also tells us that her two younger children are staying with family tonight. The suspect, Manuel Feliciano, remains in the hospital. Live in Orange County, Troy Campbell, News 6. Eric? And as soon as they officially identify the woman, Troy, of course, will let everybody know. Thank you very much.